this everywhere, like they're down this road as well. What, what, down, down here too? Oh, they're down here too. Are they down the other one? Huh? They're down there? No, don't worry, just, just show They're down there if too. If anyone gets a fine, I'll show you. He just said that they're down there too. Good, good on. Anyway, if you get a fine, just say, just say, no worries, thank you very much, and just accept it. I will, I will deal with it for you. Don't worry. I know I've got all the templates at home. Yeah, all right? No, no, I do. I've got them all. It's easy. There's no gym. Go talk to the gentleman down there. So obviously there's a lock on the door here. Don't know anything about it. Don't know anything about it. Don't know anything about it. Go talk to him. Don't know anything about it. There's no gym here. We can wait. That's fine. Yeah, good. Go talk to him. Don't talk to me. Yeah, okay, it's a directive. It's not a law. It does not trump our human rights. It, it doesn't trump your... So you're saying... So, are you saying that your directives trump our human rights? I'm saying that the directives from the Victorian government... Yeah. ...that the prohibited semi-personal um, fitness, personal recreation facilities... I'm not a person. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm not a person. ...the police believe that the human rights... Uh, but you just, you just said a, you just yeah, said a person, though. No, I'm not a person. I've told you that. A person is, is a corporate entity, a trust, a trustee in bankruptcy. Just look at the legal dictionary. That's, that's what right. it is, though. So We believe that there's a, there's a mixed martial arts with some of the operators at the moment, which is against the directive. Well, I believe in good faith that you're mistaken. Okay. And, um, <laughs> and and the Department of uh, Health and, and Human Goodies, what's the Department of Health and Human That's right, yeah. yeah. Um, my understanding is that's a that's a private company and it's actually under the UN and you, you're you're a directive to the UN. It's not, and it's a directive. It's not a law. Okay. It's a directive that can it's be enforced a, by it, so an authorised officer and, and, and with the support of But it's in breach of the law. So you take, so effectively that, you're your you're breaking you're breaking the law. Yeah. Well, that's your interpretation. If you think that you can fight the infringements in court later on. What, what I'm trying to do is well, I don't accept you. any infringements from you. Well, I'm not a person. No, it's a be issue. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so and anybody on the property will be issued with an infringement. So, so basically what you're doing is you're terrorising people, okay, and, and, you're, and you're getting your jurisdiction, um, not from the Commonwealth, but you're getting your jurisdiction from the UN because you're in breach of... Pop you're actually... What you're doing is in direct opposition to Commonwealth law. Yep. Louis is trying to save lives. Yeah, but that's, 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 that's bull. That's not no, true. No, that's, your opinion. that's not true. That's your opinion. But the government has issued that in the you're not, you're not, because I'm on the property at the moment. If you, if you go into my property, you will be breaking, and because I do not consent to you in the property. Okay, there's the notice. There's the notice. There's all the case law precedents. Okay, your, your directives. Yep. They do not supersede this. They apply to persons they and residents. I'm not a person or a resident. At the moment, they do. In law. That, that, I, I'm not, they don't. They that's do not true. Yep. That's not and true. That's okay. So that well, you, provide you can, the evidence that they do. Can you, you please explain how they do? You can dispute that because the government... When they operate outside of the of those powers, um, yeah, that's fine. We, yeah, we do not have to... Um, we can disregard them because you, you cannot just make up a law that doesn't have royal assent from the Queen or it's from, or from yeah. another entity or another crown and enforce the results of law. You don't have the under, power to do that. The I know you believe it, but it's not, it's not true. That's okay. So you can dispute that in court. So if you guys want to dispute the infringements, it will be handed out. Well, I, I'd rather really not go to court, but if we do go to yeah, court, yeah, okay, okay, I've given you full full yep, notice that, okay. that you know, we have a, a no trespassing yep. notice. We have case law precincts in there. We have police, yep. government, yep. sheriff, bailiff, process server, okay, council, property investigators, corporations, yep. okay? And you're, you're operating, so you, what, what company is it? It's the um, it's Department of Health and so Human Services. So it's, it's, so it's a corporation. So you're a representative, you're an agent for a corporation. Mm -hmm. So that means that, um, no, that no, you are breaking. It's the government. It's not a corporation. It's, it's, it's the government. Well, the government's a corporation the government, too. The government of Victoria has issued a statement. Yeah, it's a, but it's a, it's a corporation which, as well. Under which, under the Public Health and Wellbeing Act. Corporate an authorised officer, I'm allowed entry to the property. No, no you're not. Well, that's, I don't consent to you. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to consent. But in not consenting, you're actually obstructing me as an you know, authorised officer. Yeah. Which means police no, I'm just standing. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just holding yeah, call, my Dave. position yeah. that yeah. you're breaking Dave. the law. To come down and down these police officers who don't actually um, know yeah. these okay. things because 
people that are above them don't teach them what the law actually says. They should be helping us from people like you that are that are um, stealing our rights using using a jurisdiction no. that's not even not even um, um, a, a relevant jurisdiction here. No, that's the, the UN, that's yeah, that's you know, can't opinion. trump our our, our our rights. We have rights. Yeah, that's your opinion. Don't we have human rights. Are you saying we don't have human rights? No, I'm not saying that. But we, right you at are. The moment, does your actions say that we? That right we are. at the moment, what I'm saying is that the state of emergency means that I can enter the property and issue and can issue infringements to anyone who's illegal. Well, I can say this: this that I wrote something on a piece of paper that says you can't. Okay, yeah, right? And there's also law that says you can't. There's also, there's also case law precedents that say you can't. There's also constitution that says you can't. Okay? Uh, and you're disregarding one, all of those. You're, you're disregarding right. the constitution, is that right? And you're disregarding, you're disregarding the constitution? I'm actually on the emergency of Victoria that's been declared. But let's just, let me just get this right. Are, are you... Are you I'm happy for you I'm to enter the premises. On the, if you can, if you're going to, if you can tell me and give me full disclosure that you are, you have the jurisdiction to override our our our, our rights contained in our constitution, and that you have power outside of the parameters that are disclosed in our constitution. I'm if you can, you. if you can, if you can, um, if you can accept liability for that for, for any breach of that, then then go go in, go in there. I'm telling you. Because Ryan loves the cream. You know, choose not to do that, like I said, the result of that will be a potential criminal notice on you. And in and if there is a class operating there, anyone in there. Um, will be issued with infringement notices of sixteen hundred dollars. But, but they're not legitimate, so we're not with the no, that, 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 no. that, that goes to court, and, and, and it's all fear yeah. tactics. All you do is you, you just you just cause fear in people. That's all you do. No, no, that is absolutely is, is what you're doing. It's fear. Do you're terrorizing lives. people. What we're trying to do is save lives. So That's so you so you you are you saying that. Your your powers override our human rights. What I'm saying is, where am I getting? Can you my just answer? From? Just a yes or I'm no. I'm telling you where I get do, my powers from. Do do they override our human rights? Does the state of emergency override our human rights? I'm Please you confirm. And at the moment, the Victorian government has issued a state of emergency which gives. So you won't the answer me, will you? Property. You will not answer the question. I'm telling does you where I've got the power. Does it override our human rights? Doesn't matter at the moment. I've got it the does matter. I've asked you a direct. Uh, so, and, that, and that's the issue. Like, I'm asking, I, mean, I asked the police before, they're public servants. I asked them a direct you, question, they won't answer okay. the question. So, let me ask you a direct question. Are you going well, to answer the property? I've asked you, and you won't answer me. That's, okay? that's an esoteric question, which, if you want to take that to court, that's completely fine. It's not an esoteric fine. question, and it's a direct well question. It's a direct question, but okay? I'm, it's very I'm clear. Right, right. Are you going to let us into the property? Good. I'm not going to let you into the property until you, unless you can, can provide some evidence. That our constitution is no longer valid, and that you do have powers outside of the constitution to enforce these orders or directives I'm against, you, I against have our those powers. Okay, but, but you need to provide some evidence of it. Where's the evidence? Right, I've got a I don't know who you are. Okay, I can show you my card. I can show you my authorized office card. I, I just want to know how you can. How, how, I've asked you a direct. But really, what I want you. To, oh, that, that looks very, very nice. Yep. That's very nice. I just want to know how how you can um, how can you can override our our human rights and how you can override because our constitution. The state of go- because the go- government of Victoria has decided at the moment, given the implications of COVID nineteen, that it's issued a state of emergency, which gives it the power to do exactly what we're doing now. It, it doesn't. The power has to come from somewhere. Yeah, from the Victorian the, government. No, the Victorian government gets its power from somewhere. The Victorian government has made a decision, and which has been backed up by the Commonwealth and the directions it's given. And has allowed the states to decide for it's their It's been backed up own. by the Commonwealth, has Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Okay, you do know that Commonwealth's been dissolved in 1973. Well, last I heard, they were still operating, but anyway. It, it was dissolved in 1973. Well, Look at the Statute Law Revision Act 1973. Okay. They removed, they removed the, us, the words are Commonwealth. You going to let us into the so you don't even know. You don't even know what the law is. You're just doing what you're, you're doing, told. Who's, who's your hire up? Who's giving you the. the because I, I gave, I gave um, this gentleman here uh, the other day, I gave him. 
Um, oh, it's good that you've got that recording because mine's just dead now. I gave, I gave him um, notice that anyone from VHS, if they were to come here, because obviously you claim to be government, so if you are, you've been noticed, okay, that you'd be trespassing if you come to this property. It's okay. Okay. Now, you personally... Well, you you be, believe that. You believe that. That's well, no, because I have case laws. I, I believe what comes into yeah. the High Court of Australia, which you should believe too. Well. But you know, you know, this is, this is a treasonous act because you're you're, yeah. you're you're using powers okay, well, that come that from a is. foreign <laughs> foreign crown. Yeah. Okay, or from a foreign power that are in direct opposition to our actual power because you don't have a, a, a you don't get powers to override our rights. You sure. do not get powers to override our rights in a state of emergency. You don't. Yeah, do. No, I know you believe you do, but you don't. Okay. You can't tell me where you get. You just say from the government. I'm, I'm, I'm is that the happy, corporate yeah. government or is that the de jure government? Because there is a corporation called government, and then there's an actual government. There's two, and they do exist. I'm happy for you to dispute that, of course. Go for it. That's yeah. I do not. Let, I do not do give that. you consent to go into my property. Okay. I do not give you any consent. Okay. okay. And I'm going to tell you one more time. I do not give you consent to go into my property. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to take the place that basically because you're obstructing me to be able to enter the property. Um, that's obstructing the authorised office in the role of my duties. Well, you claim that, but I've just told you yeah. I don't consent. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. So I think if you had if you had the actual power. Yeah. Okay, you would you would probably just do it. I would assume, but you don't have the you don't have the power. Well, you want me to allow you in? I'm not going to allow well, you in. I do not consent to you coming into my property. Okay, so what's your reason for uh, obstructing an authorised uh, officer in the execution? Because I don't believe that he's acting on it. I don't believe he's acting according to the law. Because what he's doing is in violation of our rights, and I have an obligation to defend my rights, and you guys do too. You've made an oath to the actual, the proper crown. And then you're enforcing rules that come from a different one. I know you don't know that. That's what's really happening here. Okay? And you're you're assisting somebody. In, and he probably doesn't even. I don't know what he knows. Okay? But I'm aware that you guys probably don't know that we do have certain rights. You can't. You know, if someone's sick, really sick, they go and quarantine themselves. We already have a quarantine act. And then there's another act that they've created that's in direct opposition to that. You can't have conflicting legislation and it both be valid. Okay. Now, when the government says, "Oh, we're going to we're yeah, going to do this. This is the law," I go and check because I don't trust the government. Now, there's a maxim of law: you shall be known by your acts and action. If, if the government's been known to be to be dishonest in the past, and they're always dishonest, they always say we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and they don't they don't deliver. I don't trust them. So what I do is I check what the law actually says, and, I, and I'm not I'm not I'm not brilliant at all. I'm not I'm not a genius at all. But I just do some study because I like to know whether what they're, do, what they're doing is correct. And it's not a lot of the time. And in this case, it's not as well. Okay. You committed the offence of, uh, of hindering an authorised officer in the execution of their duties. They required you to state your name and address for me, please. Oh, I don't have to. I've told him I don't consent to him coming onto this property. Yep, but you've also committed that offence. So therefore... How is it offence to say I do not consent okay, to him so were you coming onto my property? Will you, will you unlock the gate? Oh, I don't have the key for that gate. I don't know who's got the key. Maybe be the same person who locked it five, uh, five minutes before you locked it. Who was that? I don't know. No, because it was the, the the lock was on there. Did you just lock it? I don't know anything about it. Because they might have they might have locked it. I don't have the key okay. here, so I. Can't. I don't know anything about it. So, like I said, you're committing the offence of uh, of obstructing the authorised officer. Like I said, narrow state matters. I don't have to say, I haven't committed a crime. I haven't done anything. It's What's wrong? What law have I broken? All I've said is I don't consent to you coming here and I had a discussion with you. That's not a crime to have a discussion with you about the law. But it is. Because in good faith, Section 24F of the Crimes Act states, I can, in good faith, seek to change the council's directions, uh, policies of any government entity, whether from this country or another, and I can also seek to change. Look it up. Look up. I can do that. And it's if I do that in good faith, I'm allowed to do that. And and you and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna tell me I have to give you my name. Oh, no, in good faith, I'm allowed to uh, question your jurisdiction. I have every right to do that. Okay, don't tell me that I don't. I haven't committed an offence. No, I haven't. How have I committed an offence? What have I done that is offensive to him? What was the offence? Like I said. You have disobeyed a lawful direction from an authorised officer. You have hindered him in his duties. He asked me a question, See, and I said, I well, do not give I'm you consent. I'm now saying I want, to, I want to enter the property. Well, I'm saying I don't want you to enter the property. Okay. So so that's not a crime for me to say that. stopping me from entering the property? 
No, I've told you I don't give consent. No, to, but I'm saying as an authorised officer, I'm entitled to enter the property. I don't believe that's true. No, that's okay. But I'm telling you as an authorised officer, I intend to enter the property. Are you going to let me onto the property? I, I, I do not consent to you entering the property. I do not consent. I've told you that three times. No, you already know that. You don't great. need to ask so, me again. We have that on the record. I do not consent. I believe what you're doing is unlawful. It's invalid. That's correct. And, um, that's a, that's and I opinion. believe that you're, you're, um, you're actually, you're actually um, committing an offence against the Crown. And, and so are all that's, of these people. That's, they don't even good. know. They haven't got full disclosure on that they are. What's going to happen? You're going to receive an infringement notice <coughs> in relation to... I don't accept that. So you know, I don't accept on the back of that infringement notice, when you do receive it, will be instructions to have the matter heard at court. You wish to have the matter heard at court, fill that in and... Um, I think I'll just send it back to you immediately. <laughs> Do whatever you want to do. I, don't want to, I won't accept that is the option. That's, that's it. That's the option. It's deemed acceptance, once it's, once acceptance it's is by delivery. So when you okay. send something, if I don't, if I return it to you in 72 hours, that means I haven't accepted it. Oh, I see. And what's going to happen is we're going to come back again at some point. Well, it's just, that's with a threat with same, menace, isn't it? With the exact same that's thing. That's a threat with because menace we because have you're harassing me. So if we receive menace. another triple zero call to say that there's a possible COVID breach here, you need to learn what the law is. We will come back with an authorised officer again. We'll ask you to yeah. okay. you, you, you guys need to know what the law is. I'm just letting you know. I know you're in a hard place. I know you are. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not like someone that's against police. I'm against people taking our rights, okay? Um, you know, and, I, and I'm not against police. But what you're doing now, I'm going to say this isn't right. Okay. This is not right, okay? And you, and, I, and you don't have legitimate powers to do this. Like I, said, I know you believe you do. If someone's told the you. Calls to come back here because of the fact that there's, uh, I believe, COVID breach. I know. You want to harass the back. people that are coming in. You want to make it, you want to, you no, know, make a big... We want them to obey the state of emergency directions that have been issued. For people's safety. For that's, the that's, the, that's, I know, that's, that's the media. The that's, that's, that's what they push. Well, you know, I understand you've got to push some lie, you know. Well, that's, you know, that's they told us September 11 was, you know, all these people that, you know, but that wasn't true. That was a, that was a load of bullshit. And, and this is more, this is, but, it, but it's the same bullshit. It's, it's, it's the media it's, telling us a, a heap of crap so they can take, so that the government can take more power. And because yeah. the people are ignorant, not many people stand up. Because the people are ignorant, this is, uh, this is what ends up happening. They, they take powers that they don't have. I tell you, you don't have your rights unless you know them. I know some of my rights. Because I know some of my rights, I'm not going to relinquish them because some bloke turns up and says, I have power from the government. Yeah. That's not a legitimate that, – that, that, yeah. now, if you do, have, you do have legitimate power, okay, yeah. do what you're going to do against my will, okay, yeah. because you, cause you know you'll win in court. But I've told yeah. you I do not consent. I do not consent to these no, proceedings, I'm okay? I'm not going to give you my no, name because has, it's mine. It belongs to me. It's my property. I don't have to give it to you. My okay. name is my property. So you guys, you're not gonna, so you guys you know, don't You're know. not going to create a contract so with me. I'm not giving you a contract with you. Okay. I don't I, have to. It's not a problem. You're receiving a ticket in So you're spending the night here. Don't answer any questions. He's exercising his right to... Silence. Uh, yeah. Right, right to silence. silence. Human rights. Thank you. Bye bye, officers. There is people selling drugs. There is people that have uh, that rapists, murderers, there's rapists, murderers, pedophiles. There's a lot of pedophiles in the government, too. And I can get you some information on those guys, possibly in the department of uh, whatever department you come from. So maybe go and get the pedophiles in the government. And when you go and do that, I will be, I'll be supporting 100%.